Well, on February 14th, I put up a blog post as a guest blogger on Scott Walter's blog. And I've gotten a lot of great response from that. And I want to thank everyone who's posted a comment. And um, you know, one, one person in particular, a guy named Anthony, posted a really interesting comment. And Anthony, this video is my response to you. It's a more detailed answer because I did some research based on your question. Anthony was watching the um, final episode when Scott and I were in Portugal, Tomar, Portugal. And we were, on a, we were in the middle of a particular square there. Uh, looking up at a church, and there was a clock with a symbol of, carved of Mary, Jesus, down to the lower right, uh, skull and crossbones symbol. I forget what the fourth one was. But it was really interesting, um, that skull and crossbones symbol by itself. But what Anthony noticed during that scene was what was on the ground beneath us, which he recognized as the checky pattern. Now, he asked if I noticed it there, and I might have. I, it certainly stood out, but I, uh, d I don't remember it. And I certainly did not, at the time, uh, think about the significance of that. I had noticed on a particular grave marker on the floor of the church where we found the hooked X symbol, a, a coat of arms, uh, armorial bearing, of a checky pattern was quartered within that coat of arms. I did not recognize the name of the family as, as anyone that's been related to our family or um, what I call the super family who might use that checky pattern. Um, but I've always found it fascinating. It goes back to the de Warren family who came over very early during the Norman Conquest and received lands in uh, Norfolk, England. William de Warren founded Castle Acre Priory in Norfolk, England. I went there back in December 2014. And the video you're seeing now is from that trip. And it is a massive, massive place. Absolutely beautiful and fascinating. One of the witnesses to the founding of Castle Acre Priory was Richard St. Clair. I find that fascinating because typically a witness to a founding was directly related to or possibly married into uh, the family of the founder. So the next thing I did in answer to your question, Anthony, is I went back and looked through the photos of the trip, and I didn't find any that showed the checky pattern or sh that I'd taken in that square. I took a lot of the church, the close-ups of those symbols on the church. So I went back to my computer today, looked on Google Earth, zoomed in on that particular square. Here you see the church, and in the lower right-hand quadrant, you, see, you would see, if I could zoom in on it, you would see that symbol of uh, the skull and crossbone. And if I zoom to the right or pan to the right and look at the ground, sure enough, the entire square has a massive display of that checky pattern. Anthony, great set of eyes. Thank you, Anthony, and thanks everyone else for your comments. And keep checking out Scott's blogs because there's going to be a lot more great stuff discovered here.